Hello and so welcome in this video on serverless testing. So today we will share on test stability, reliability and performance. And in fact, when you want to improve a process, first thing you need to do is to get your KPI because as the sentence says, you can't manage what you can't measure. In our context of a testing improvement, we need to answer those typical points. So for example, what is my ratio of fluky test and its evolution over time? Uh, do I have specific tests slowing down my entire campaign uh, execution? Uh, does my state execution is uh, stable, increasing or decreasing? And we have, for example, specific issues in executing my tests in a particular uh, browser, device or application, for example. And we'll share today how we're using Cerberus and alternative functionalities of an integrated repository execution and analytics capabilities. You are able to do this cycle quite fast uh, to improve your uh, testing process. So we'll cover starting from the analytics, what are the dashboards available to answer the question we have on top? And what can you do at the execution and repository level in order to improve also your uh, test? when it's uh, issues related to the test. So, uh, what we'll share also, it's all the native uh, other functionalities really useful in this process, is all the traceability available within Cerberus to collect all the environment your test was uh, executed, and all the timing, status, etc. You don't have to reinvent or implement any type of uh, other or external dashboard, and you can also leverage alerting and monitoring capabilities we'll cover in more detail. So let's get started. Okay, so here we'll start to share why dashboarding and KPI are important and to share that we illustrate by showing what can you or which data you have available if you don't use a dashboard. So here I just arrived on the Cerberus homepage so I have some in my particular system and context some graph here about the execution history but as it is all mixed, as you see, it's quite not possible to get, get out any conclusion out of this data. And here I have also my web performance execution. So again, I can have a brief overview here, uh, but not an overall view. So what thing I can do, it's uh, to check, for example, execution list. But again, the objective of this is to check ex individual execution and to access them briefly. Uh, so this will not help answer our question. So in Cerberus, you have available here a dashboard part, and this is what we will cover in the next tab, and to show you how you can use it to so drive your continuous QA improvement process. So the first dashboard you can use, and it's a more local, it's a dashboard for a particular, particular campaign. So in our case, it's a CICD executed at a particular time frame we see here. We have already here available some ratio for this particular test case execution. So the ratio of OK, KO, and not possible to execute tests. It's also interesting for evaluating your stability. So, and if I go below, I start to have a bit more of detail by environment, country, and robot execution. So you can have, start to have some clue about for example, if you execute in various environments and different countries and browser, which is the case, do you have specific issues in a specific environment and identify patterns? So as you see, you are able to do it here. And after, if you go on the detail execution list, what you are able to do is potentially to identify particular test cases that are failing. So looking at this matrix, for example, you understand that on particular browser, this test case is a failing and then you have a more global issue probably on your test design here if they are reusing step or other. So now the next question will be okay I have a one campaign but I want to look at my overall campaign performance. This is where I need a bit more of analytics capabilities. So if you go to this page inside the Cerberus this is what you are able to do. So and for example if I take my uh, the same uh, CICD execution I have here. So I can filter by some parameter. By default, it's one month, but I will let it by default. And here we'll see just after this type of parameter and how they are useful in the debugging part. So here, for example, I see the evolution of my campaign, so duration 
over a month, so I can put more. Uh, and you see, we have already some strange behavior. We need to analyze a bit more to correlate with our other information. So if I go down, what I see is that we have also increased a lot the coverage of the app application, at least in the number of test cases executed. So we passed from 20 here, 24 to about above 80 here. So we still have to investigate where the time is that correlated. And then we have also some information about the CI score and threshold, so based on the ratio of OK, KO, and FA uh, tests. And here, this is where it starts to be interesting because you can see the performance of individual campaign over time and the evolution in their globality, taking account the overall test case you have available in your campaign. Okay? And if I go here on top, you see that you have those parameters here and you are able, if you want, to, to, to show the dashboard only in particular uh, browser, environment and country in order to do a bit more drill down analysis and help you identify root cause or at least pattern or trends. So now, if you have a suspicion on a particular use case, what you can do is go also to this page when here you select more on test case. So here I will select my application. In the same logic, it's a month period. And for example, I can take a standard use case, a test case, load its performance here. Okay, so in here I have access to all the history of execution of this test case. So as you see, in the combination of country, uh, environment, and browser. And you see that we have strange peaks here to be investigated. You have also, for example, if during the day you have a specific uh, issue, it could be also interesting for uh, trend analysis. And you have also perform a number of requests performed. So for example, here we have one more in this case, we need to understand uh, why. And then you have also the, the size of the page uh, loading, which is also a good indicator to use for your test execution time. Okay? In the same way, you can filter here by parameter, and as you are in a specific test case that is collecting network data, you can also filter and add uh, other type of units in your dashboard, okay, so, or do this analysis for a specific provider. Okay. So and now the last dashboard that is available in Cerberus is to do this analysis of campaign, but for example, on a web performance, and we we'll see that the trend is a bit different because here the tests are executed on a regular basis using the campaign management we'll see just after. And here, so you see tests are much more regularly executed. And in the same way, you can use all the dashboard and analytics available in Cerberus to identify and manage your reliability and performance of your test case. Okay. So this is an example here. You have also access to the CI score and threshold. And here you have the status, so here, quite stable. The topic here is more a question of performance reliability for our test case. Okay, so now I'm back to my dashboard about a particular campaign execution over time. And let's say you have some clue here of some tests that are FA or cow. So in the order, you will go through the, what you can do on the test case definition, then in your test case execution parameter, and then in your campaign parameter. So let's start by the test case. Let's say this is the test case here you wanted to, to update. So you can go with the execution settings, for example, and here so you have particular environment so that you can activate or not. You can, if you want, activate your test case only for particular version. For example, if you didn't have time to update due to major release, etc., it will at least not lock your developer's team to wait for a fix that could take days or weeks. You can also specify some activation uh, condition here with a, a lot of parameters possible that enables you also to potentially stabilize your test uh, if they need to run under a particular and variable uh, condition and also if you have specific issues in your click or particular constraint on your application you can also specify here so, some robot uh, constraint for example and also in your test design sometimes you may have some dependencies between your test and this is what you can define here so you can define dependencies of execution between tests and Cerberus will manage those dependencies execution for you automatically when you run your campaign. Okay. So 
So now, if we press the capabilities available on the execution page and on any test case execution, so here it's a standard parameter, the test case, the environment, the country you want to run the test, which uh, context here. But the important parameter you can tune here that we usually do not recommend to use that much because normally they hide another problem you need to fix. But here you can specify advanced uh, traceability. This can help you in your debugging and solving your issue. And you can also, so as I said a bit more temporarily, implement an higher timeout than the default one defined in your Cerberus instance. And also, you can define some retrace policy here in case the test is KO and you want to retry it. But again, you need to be careful of that because then you can hide some uh, root other problems and your test case will start to last longer and reduce your or increase your feedback loop time. Okay? And in fact, all those parameters are available to be configured inside your campaign. So if I take an example here, it's a campaign used for regular production follow-up. You can define a CR scores result to, to get it considered a OK or KO depending on the ratio of uh, Floki test. Here are standard parameter of selection. Here it's the execution context. And we are here interested about the execution settings because here we have the exact same parameter available, we can automate and set for all the execution for the CI/CD or production monitoring. So we find here to gain timeout and retries, for example. And one of interesting capabilities here is also on the notification, because you can get email and Slack notification at the beginning and the end of the execution, and you can also choose to receive only when your CI score is not as expected. Campaign, you can also access specific dashboard for your campaign. So let's say I will check this one. And you can access this, for example, the result of your CI campaign, depending on your thresholds. And you also see the result item of percentage, duration, and you directly get your reliability percentage to drive your team and some execution API here to a factual comparison. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. So we hope that uh, you, you enjoyed it and that you can leverage Cerberus to improve your test performance, reliability, and stability. So stay tuned, we publish a new video soon, and bye-bye.